Now let's talk about marine and coastal processes and their effects. So we have here dominant coastal processes. We have the salt coastal erosion, sediment movement along coasts, and coastal deposition. First, we have coastal erosion. This is the wearing away of the land by the sea and is done by destructive waves. We have five common processes that cause, that cause coastal erosion. First, we have corrosion. Corrosion is when waves pick up beach materials and hurl them at the base of a cliff. Next, we have abrasion. Abrasion happens when breaking waves containing sediment fragments erode the shoreline, particularly headland. It is also referred to as the sandpaper effect. Next, we have hydraulic action. The effect of waves, they hit cliff faces. The air is compressed into cracks and it releases waves rushes back seaward. The compressing and releasing of air as waves presses cliff faces and rushes back to sea will cause cliff material to break away. Next, we have attrition. It is the process when waves bump rocks and pebbles against each other leading to the eventual breaking of the materials. Lastly, we have corrosion or solution. It involves dissolution by weak acids such as when the carbon dioxide in the atmosphere is dissolved into water turning it into a weak carbonic acid. Several rocks example limestone are vulnerable to this acidic water and will dissolve into it. The rate of dissolution is affected by the concentration of carbonates and other minerals in the water. As it increases, dissolution becomes slower. Next, we have sediment movement along coast. So as wave crashes on the shore, the water pushes sediment up the beach and then pulls it back down the beach as the water slides back down. If the water do not come in parallel to the beach, longshore transport or literal drift of sand, of sand occurs. When waves approach the beach, the beach at an angle, the part of the wave that reaches shallow water earliest slow down, slows down the most, allowing the part of the wave that is further offshore to catch up. In this way, the wave is refracted or bent so that it crashes on the shore more nearly parallel to the shore. You will never see a wave wash up on a beach at a very high angle from the line of the beach, except perhaps at an inlet or where the, more, the shore makes a sudden right angle bend. And lastly, we have the coastal deposition. It happens when waves lose their capacity to carry or transport sediments because of reduction in energy. They can and will drop or deposit its sediments load. Waves that do not have the capacity to transport sediments and which results to sediment deposition and accumulation are called constructive waves. Deposition happens when the swash or the waves thrust inland is stronger than the backwash or waves rushing back to sea. Deposition can occur as waves enter areas of shallow water or sheltered areas like coves or bay. Little or no wind and there is a sufficient supply of sediments. Emphasize that the waves lose kinetic energy to transport the sediment load.